as we take a look at the starting lineup for Central High, Ronnie Harriet is between the sticks, and Rick Gordon, Tyrese Thomas, Zid and Christie, and Alric Archer, the back four in the middle of the pad, Javon McDonald, Javon Campbell, and Nathaniel Howe, six goals and four assists to his name, and up top, James Gallimore, uh, James uh, Dyer, and Dylan Briscoe. 4-3-3 is what they will be playing in Central High. Yeah, James Dine, that first leg, got quite a few of the opportunities for Central High. Let's see if he can take them today. Four goals and four assists behind his name so far, the number 11. For William Nib High, they also have a 4-3-3 formation. Kemal Benjamin is between the sticks. Amari Christopher Reed will fly straight at left back today. Uh, Kemar Bennett, Orville Brown, and Joshua Walker uh, will uh, complete the back four in the middle of the park. Colonel Peart, Jaquan James, and Tion J. Bennett. Up top, we have J.R. Skyers. Coran Henriquez, the 15-year-old that we showed you a little bit earlier with 10 goals and a couple of assists. And uh, Ciron Williams, who has five assists to his name. 4 3 3 is what they will play as well. Interesting lineup, very deep lineup in terms of goal scoring and assists as well. And Anderson, the man in charge, William Nib in their purple and white driving forward. Very soggy conditions, especially in the first half. And the ball stopping, luckily for goalkeeper Harriet, who could execute the save, keeping it away from Henriquez, the impressive number 50, the impressive 15 year old. This man with a strike early, Williams, and he had better yet to come. Central high, getting a few balls into the air. That finish should have been better. Goalkeeper Harriet committing, Benjamin, sorry, committing. And luckily for him, the shot was off target. Central getting into the area on a rare occasion. And Gallimore with the strike, which was wide. And then another strike from outside here. Lots of shots outside the 18 from both teams. That time equal to the task. An occasion for Henriquez to get inside the area. Decided to cut back. Not sure if that was the right option and allow the central defense to get back and defend. William Nib had the better of the first half. This was another strike which barely made it to goalkeeper Harriet. And then the moment that changed it. One minute into stoppage time in the first half. Good work by Henriquez. And look at this from Williams. A bit fortuitous how the ball got to him, Williams. But look at that strike. Great technique, was slipping as well, which is even more impressive. Put his instep through it, lock the ankle, and into the roof of the net. Goalkeeper Harriet, no chance. And Williams with his first of the season, William Nib, 1-0 to the good. He knew the importance of that into the second half. Now Central, a better performance in the second half. That was Campbell getting forward, but his strike was into the side netting. William Nib, again, those strikes from outside the area. Harriet doing enough. And Central, even though they got more balls into the 18 yard area, there's another example. Just not enough strikes to test goalkeeper Benjamin. This another attempt from the substitute deflected and William able, able to clear a strong defensive effort. And Williams with a blinder. So William Nib through to yet another round of 16 into the Costa Cup. Dwight Jeremiah getting results. Five shots on target from 15 attempts for William Nib. Just the one shot on target from 12 for last year's beaten finalist. There were four yellow cards shown, two each. Five corners for William Nib. They enjoyed majority of the possession and all the goals here at Glenmuir High. William Nib through to the round of 16 with their 1-0 win. Let's hear from our water man of the match, none other than the goal scorer, Mr. Williams, Seron Williams. And here we have our water man of the match. He is no other than Siran Williams, the goal scorer for today. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Siran, today the rain had affected the field a bit, but you managed to score a goal in the first half. How was it for you? It was a very good feeling because my team needed the goal to, to advance to this round of 16. Well, you are in the round of 16, as you said. Again, how does it feel for you and your team? 
my team, me and my team, I, we feel very joyful, great. I think we can push on beyond this competition. You did have a lot of support when you scored a goal today. People were sliding and tripping, celebrating just like you and your teammates. How does that feel to know that people are supporting you? It gives me a joy because when you're pushing on to the competition, we're going to need the support. We're going to need a lot of support. Well, you did well. Congratulations and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Now we welcome the coach of Central High. Yeah.